in ProPresenter 7, just like ProPresenter 6, 5, etc., there are various ways to work with text. One of my favorite ways is to go to File, Import, Import File. And then you can bring up a text document. Let's see, I know that I've got one on the desktop here. And this is it. And can it be famous Charles Wesley him for my Methodist friends. So um, what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to do a line break. I could do a paragraph break and one delimiter, but as you'll see, well, here, let me just show you the file. See how many lines there are in each verse? A paragraph break would be, you know, in this case, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lines, which gets really busy on a screen. So instead, let's go for a line break, and let's do two lines, uh, two line breaks, actually. A delimiter is what is the end point, and we want two of those two line breaks per slide that will give me two lines uh, size let's do 1080p although I can choose based on the output so if I was planning on sending that to the preaching TV I could do that instead but I'm gonna stick with the 1080p version here template I've already chosen this one down here the rectangle template full page lyric version. Now that shows four lines, but I'm only going to do two. And let me bring this into not the test library, not the default library, but the hymn library. That's another way that you can do your organization, because now with ProPresenter 7 you can pull from various libraries at the same time. So if you have a traditional service that almost exclusively does hymns, then you might want to put it in a hymn library. If you have a contemporary service that does worship songs pretty much exclusively, maybe you have a worship song library. If your youth group also uses the same computer, then you can have a youth group library, etc. So you can further organize things into various libraries. Uh, Playlist, I'm going to bring that into uh, my most recent playlist. Um, I've already got a copy of that there, but I wanted to show it to you. So I'm going to import that. When I import that, you'll see that it has the hymns library listed, and it's already got everything broken up. I'm good to go on this. Now, uh, it is the case that I don't have this separated into groups. So what I would want to do is right click, go to group, let's do verse one, and let's actually um, choose this new, um, sorry, this one, so that I can see this a little bit better. So, Right click, group, verse 1, and I know that this is actually a chorus, so let's add a chorus tag to that. Group, chorus. And then this starts the next verse, so let's call that verse 2, and so on, and so on. So you'll notice that also there are letters here. And what those letters do is, if I type any letter, it goes immediately to it. So C for chorus. S for verse 2, back to C for chorus, and so on. 
so I could really easily set this up using uh, that and if we're in a situation where either the Holy Spirit moves or the worship leader forgets where he or she is no big deal we can jump with these hotkeys that are already pre-selected for us you'll notice by the way that if you're on a regular QWERTY keyboard that A is where your pinky finger is on your left hand C is, um, well, you know where C is. It's underneath D and F, but C for chorus. S is where your ring finger is on your left hand. So you see um, just how that goes here. So that's one way of working with text. Let's put this back on the default here, because that's the way I would normally like it. Uh, probably make that a little bit bigger so that it's easier to read for my old eyes. So we're good there. But I can bring it in in another way. So if I go File, Import, and I have already copied the text from that same hymn, and I click there and I can do the same thing uh, this time let me put it in the test library and all the settings are the same but I haven't put it in the playlist and there we go it's already set up in there now if I wanted to I could go into the editor and edit these things, change the look, uh, change anything that I wanted, and go from there. Maybe uh, at my church, our uh, worship pastor hates old-fashioned words, so instead of tis mercy all, you'd have to change it to um, it's mercy all immense and free um, I wouldn't do that by the way despite some people thinking oh the letter O is a an old-fashioned word just as an aside that means that is a word that is directed to and that is a word that is an interjection so you've just changed to my God, to OMG. Not something you want to do. So we can do whatever we need to here in editor. We could add slide notes if we wanted to with feeling. You know, if that's what we wanted. Now we can go back to show and we're back there. We can also go into Reflow Editor, and Reflow Editor has a couple of big advantages. Instead of copying that and pasting it there and then deleting this slide, if I wanted to go to four lines, I can just put uh, my cursor at the beginning of the second slide and hit Backspace on a PC keyboard or delete that's in the exact same spot on a Mac keyboard and it will delete the line break. If I have the opposite problem and I want to put that on the next uh, slide I can just do that. So that is option enter or uh, option return depends on uh, what keyboard you have uh, that's the Mac keyboard shortcut there's a similar one for the PC that I'm blanking on right now but that will uh, allow you to make changes quickly and you can see what they look like over here so going back to our initial example maybe we do that and we go oh that actually looks a little busy I don't know if in your situation it does look busy, but let's say that it does, then that's just an added advantage of that. 
We can also just hit the insert uh, slide break here. So that does the exact same thing as uh, the option return keyboard shortcut. So that's something else to help you. Again, we can make this bigger or smaller just for um, the sake of seeing stuff. And we can change all these things as I go to next timer and so on from here. So those are some of the ways that you can uh, work with text in ProPresenter 7.